Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. We're here tonight at the 40th Saturn Awards, which honor the best in science fiction, fantasy, and horror. I'm a huge fan of this genre. Can't wait to see who we're going to talk to. All right. So introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about Continuum for those who aren't familiar. I'm Eric Knudsen. I play Alex Sadler in Continuum. What's the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> It's hard to hear up here. Is he? It's hard to hear down here. Yes. Uh, I'm Magda Apinovich and I play Emily. Victor Webster. So, time travel. Um, there are a couple of alternate sort of timelines that are now happening. What can you say about what we're going to see next? Are they going to collide? Are you going to live in the past, the future? What are we going to see most of? We're going to go back and find Biff and the Almanac. Mm. Mm. Become millionaires. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong oh. show. Oh, oh. That's a movie. That 85. Okay, wrong. I got dibs on the hoverboard skateboard. Yes, you do. Yeah. It's mine. How do you, uh, well, how, what would you say? It's hard Little, to say. I think like, it's all kept kind of a secret. It is. Yeah. We got the, the finale coming up uh, Friday, so um, you're going to learn a little bit about what's happening with our timelines and what other timelines are coming into play, I guess. Yeah. I feel like with the finale, you can kind of go anywhere season four. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. It's very open. And so what are you most looking forward to exploring? If you could explore another aspect of your character in season four, where would you, what would you want to look into? I think it would be the the badass fighting and uh, like how ruthless I can get. I'd like to see the very like feral side of her. I agree. She she always used to defend me. She's my like my little uh, security protector. I think that Alec needs to grow up hair, yeah. and you need to train him a little bit. I would and as, love as well that. Yeah, just you know, some fights. <laughs> Not much. Uh, I don't know. I'm just along for the ride. Whatever they whatever they do, whatever Simon the riders come up with, I'm loving it. So it's all good. And are you guys sci-fi fans in general? Yes. F yes. All right. So what are your faves? What if what are your classics right now that you'd go back to? Oh my God, I'm such a nerd. I'm obsessed with Buffy and Angel. It's disgusting. I literally every time my roommates come home at six o'clock, I'm on the couch like this. They're like, really, Buffy again? How many times have you seen this? I'm like, there's no way I could even count. And how many different copies of the seasons I have? Like, I have multiple seasons. Yeah. I have the, the special box one. I've got the original ones. Like, it's ridiculous. And then I have like a Cylon action figure. My whole house has like a bunch of different action figures. Uh, I have chopstick lightsabers. I have Dar Dolph Mart. Dolph Mart. <laughs> I almost bought, um, at the Skywalker Ranch, I almost got uh, uh, lightsabers. But then I was just like, no, I shouldn't do it. If you, if you could choose somebody to fight in a lightsaber fight, who would be your most worthy opponent? Probably Knudsen, because I'd beat him. That, I would pay money to see that. I don't know. But I'd like to see him scrappy and really... I would, I would have to be in Eric's corner for that. I'd teach you some secret lightsaber tricks. I bet, I bet. could be in trouble. I bet he's got some moves. I underestimate him all the time, but I think he's got a hidden, like, serious badassness. He's got a very high kick, and that's, that's probably your special weapon. He could probably hit... Victor in the face. Let's not test that theory. No. <laughs> Can we get a demo right now? If this dress wasn't so tight, yes. All right, we'll take a rain check on that. We want a behind the scenes lightsaber fight when you guys are shooting next season. Yes, awesome. I'm super stoked. Let's do it. All right, have a great time tonight. Thanks so much and good luck. Thanks so much for watching the Red Carpet Report and our coverage of the Saturn Awards. If you like what you saw, hit like. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.